Justin Everett, and his girlfriend, Melissa Mahoney, claim former landlord Jeffrey Sunsthaken owes for stolen belongings, hotel bills, and harassment. Jeffrey is countersuing for rent, harassment, and a false restraining order. Okay, now let's get to your counterclaim. I have no case. Okay. Ridiculous. It's against the law. Where are you living so now? At my family's house. Okay. Yeah. I have to explain my sense so that you know where I'm coming from. Somebody rents a room in their house or part of their property. They do so because they need the extra income. If the people that they rent to are normal and are acting like responsible tenants, they're happy. They get their money. Everything is fine because you really have to be... You're not psychotic, are you? You may like to have, you know, a beer once in a while, but you're not psychotic, are you? No. 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 So he wouldn't put his... Yes. He No. He got nuts because you weren't paying your rent. We tried to pay the rent. Yeah, you gave... You would the, not accept our payments. And no. He, uh, I'm going to ask you just one... Qu- I'm just going to ask you just one question. He threatened Mr. us? Mr. Everett, pay attention to my mouth. One question. Did you, on the 1st of March, give Mr. S $500 for rent? The first no. Part. On the 2nd of March, did you give him $500 for rent? The answer is no. The 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, did you give him $500 a month in rent? The answer is no. A day later, you gave him half the rent. That wasn't your deal. Your deal was $500. You didn't have a deal? No that, written, then you're no in, written deal. Just a no second. Nothing. You told me five minutes ago, we'll play the tape back for you. You said you answered an ad on Craigslist. You sat down. I, what was the rent? You said to me it was $500 a month. I asked you, when did you move in? You told me January 20th. You told me that you gave him $180. He doesn't say you gave him $180. He says you gave him $500 on the 23rd, and that was to cover February. And that's you still false. owed him for January. You have proof that you gave him $180? No. Uh, <laughs> then, instead of giving him, on the 9th of March, $250, because I believe him when he says that you put $50 in cash under a rock on his car and said to him, there's like money that. for you, okay. and he said, take your money. I don't want your money. That's, on, that's on your machine. I don't want to hear it. Do you that understand? Is I, I'm not interested in hearing it unless you tell me on March 1st and April 1st you gave him five. Hundred dollars. We tried to. Uh, just a second. You didn't try to. That's a lie. You did not try to give him five hundred dollars on March first. On March third, he told us that we were evicted from there, from okay. this property. All right. Good. And on the, All on right. You get zero. <laughs> Dippity do. He owes you nothing. I know. Now, oh my are you happy to have them gone? I'd like that. They're gone, aren't they? Their stuff's still there, but they're gone. Their stuff is still there? Yeah. What stuff is still there? If their stuff is still there, then they're there. What stuff is there? There's still some things up there. I just, I haven't, it's just, just happened, a... so I haven't got anything moved out. You mean it just happened on May 1st? Yeah. That they left? Yeah. And you left. You said you moved out. And mm-hmm. you're at your parents' house now, right? And my That's house, what you yes. say. You say you're at your family's yes. house now. Is that what you said? Throw all their stuff out. Get rid of all their stuff. Get rid of it all so that you can re-rent the room. Do you understand? Yeah. Throw it out. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't pay you rent. Really? March, April, or May. They have no stuff that belongs to them in your house. Do you understand? Yeah. Perfect. Goodbye. We're done. Oh, my God. Parties are excused. You may step out. I really have nothing to say. Well, I'm pleased. It sounded like she saw right through them. I have nothing to say. They're professional squatters. No comments. I won't make the mistake again.